Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, the office Fernandez. I'm making this, this video for somebody. Glory to God, I've been hearing voices in your head. Yes, you've been hearing voices in your head. And you don't know what to do. My message is designed to help you to stop those voices in your head. And those voices are demons. Demons telling you to do crazy things. Demon telling you to commit suicide. Demon telling you, glory to God, to cut your wrist. Demon telling you to go in the, 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 the cabinet and take all those pills and get your problem solved. This message is for those, glory to God, that are hearing demons in your voice, in your head. My friend, I'm here to tell you, you've been going to the therapist and the therapist, my friend, they're not helping you. They put your medicine and the medicine is not helping you. I'm telling you today, my friend, God have heard your prayer. I say the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob have heard your prayer. You saying you've been praying, my friend, I'm telling you what to do. These are ours that you got to do. Yes, there's ours. These ours will help you register a go to God and make you, hallelujah, solve what those demons are saying in your head. It's time to silence the voices in your head. Hey, glory to God. How you sound the voices? You silence the voices, hey, glory to God, by you following these three R's. You must, glory to God, return to God. Yes, you've been, you need to return back to God. Yes, return. And when we return back to God, you must remember God. And by you remembering God, you can rebuke the devil. Hey, glory to God. Yes, rebuke the devil. The Bible says, rebuke the devil and he will flee from you. Draw not to God and God will draw not to you. Cleanse your hand, O oh, he sinner. And when you rebuke the devil, my friend, hey, glory to God, you must repent. Yes, repent. Repent of your sins. Hey, glory to God. And when you repent of your sins, God will give you resurrection power. What you talking about, preacher? I'm saying to you, glory to God, that may hear voices in your head. It's time for you to return back to God. My friend, glory to God, you, you backslid from God. Since the coronavirus have happened in your life, my friend, you think that, glory to God, God is on vacation. God is not dead. God has ever been on a vacation. It's you that may been on vacation. Since the church door is closed, you think God has closed. No, my friend, God is not in no building. God is in you, the hope of glory. So you must, go to God, you must return back to God. Hey, glory to God. The Bible says, I love a backslider. He said, he married a backslider. So if you are hearing voices in your head, you must return back to God and you must remember God. Hey, glory to God. I say, remember. How do you remember God? You remember God, the God that brought you from darkness to the marvelous light. The, the God that saved you when you cry out. You say, Lord, Lord, save me. And God saved you. And now God saved you. You forgetting about God. So I want you to, hallelujah, to remember God. Hey, glory to God. And when you re remember God, I want you, glory to God, hallelujah, to rebuke the devil. Yeah, rebuke him. Tell him, talk back to the devil. Say, devil, this is my house. This house belongs to me. Hey, glory to God. For me and my house, we want to serve the Lord. You got to, you got to talk to the devil. Tell the devil, no, hallelujah, I'm not going to kill myself. My, my body belongs to God. The Bible say, the Bible says, this is what the Bible say. The Bible say, my friend, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy to God, which is a real servant. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So God want to live in your body. God, yes, God want to live in your body. Your body belongs to God. Your body don't belong to those demons. Those demons trying to destroy you. No demon trying to take you over, take you down. But you ought to tell no demon, this house belong to God. The Bible say, when the man, that man was at a cemetery. Yes, he was at a cemetery. And the Bible say, he cut himself with stone. He go to God. And Jesus Christ said, what is your name? They say, we are legion because we are many. And a demon talk back to God, Jesus, and say, Jesus, don't cast us into the city, but cast us into the swine. And Jesus Christ told those demons to go. And the Bible say they went into the pigs and they choked themselves in the sea. And then the man, he was free. The Bible say he was clothed. He was sitting clothed in his right mind. 
So if you're a person that's hearing voices in your head, it's time for you to do the R's. Yes, do the R's, my friend. The R's is return. Hey, glory to God. Remember, rebuke, glory to God, hallelujah, repent, and then get resurrection. Hey, glory to God. Once you, hallelujah, get resurrection, my friend, the Bible says, if any man being Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things become new. Jesus Christ said, I'm the resurrection and the life. Oh, glory, yo, yo, though you were dead, God will make you alive. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. There's somebody, glory to God, you, you are sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're tired, Lord to God, of going to the doctor and the doctor, you're getting worse, my friend. But I come to tell you, Jesus Christ said, I'm a mind regulator. The Bible said, casting all your kids upon him. The Bible said, my friend, they that keep their minds stay on thee, I keep them in perfect peace that trusted in me. Hey, Lord to God, I come to tell you, my friend, if you put your trust in Jesus, <clears throat> Amen. But yeah, put your trust in Jesus. Jesus Christ is a mind regulator. He said, they that keep their mind stayed on me, I keep them in perfect peace. Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. So if you're a person that's hearing voices in your head, it's time to tell those voices, shut up and get out of my house. Talk to those voice and say, enough is enough. It's time for you to go, buddy. The Bible say, my friend, the Bible say, when an unclean spirit leaves a man, he wandered through dry places and seeking rest and find none, then he, then he wander back and come back in the house. I come and tell you, you ought to get the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost become your keeper. Let the Holy Ghost lives in you. When the Holy Ghost lives in you, demons can't come in you no more. Prove it, preacher. The Bible says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the mission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When you have the Holy Ghost, demons got to go. Hey, once, it, once you have the Holy Ghost, demons, hallelujah, oh, glory to God, hallelujah, of our Father, demons got to go. Demons can't live in your house no more. My house belongs to God. My house, my friend. Jesus Christ is my housekeeper. He's my savior. Oh, glory to God. He's sovereign. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody right now. Can I pray for you? Can I pray that those demons get out of your house right now? You've been hearing voices. It's time to shut those voices down. It's time to tell those demons, get out my house right now. Right now, get out. What is your name? If they tell your name, you're the Call them by their name. Call them misery. Call them torment. Call them torture. Get out my house right now. My house belongs to my Savior, Jesus Christ. Ah, glory to God. Can I pray for you? Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, this person right now, oh God, I'm hearing voices. Hallelujah. They can't sleep at night. No demon telling them to cast themselves into the sea, cast themselves in the fire. But I come and tell you right now, come out this house right now. This house belongs to God. This house belongs to Jesus. The house belongs to the Holy Ghost. The house belongs to the Savior of the universe. And his name is Jesus. The Jesus. Hallelujah. The G stand for joy. The E stand for everything. Hallelujah. S stand for sovereignty. The Savior. The sweetness. Hallelujah. Or the soon coming King. The U mean you. You. You cast your kids upon Him because He cares for you. And the S mean He's a Savior. Hallelujah. He's a strong tower, and the righteous run therein, and they are saved. And the G and the Christ. The Christ mean the Comforter. Father God, I'm praying right now that this person receive the Comforter. They receive the High Priest. They receive the right spirit. The right spirit is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the I, Jesus Christ said, I am the great I am. Oh, glory to God. And as uh, he's sweet, 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 I know. And the T means he's truth. Uh, oh, glory to God. Father God, right now, oh God, this person in here, voices, the voice is telling them to commit suicide. But I come and tell that voice, shut up right now and leave this house right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, but now come out of this house. This house, I, I'm evicting you in the name of Jesus. What I am evicting you in the name of Jesus. Come out right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Oh God, free this person right now. Freedom right now. Freedom. You say stand fast in liberty where Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with pornography. Be not entangled again with witchcraft. Be not entangled again with drugs. Be not entangled again with people that don't mean no good to you. Right now, God. Bless this person right now. In Jesus' name I pray.
Amen. No more voices in my head. Amen. Amen. Glory to God.